I'm a God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I heard four Christians at a conference standing, talking. They were talking about this terrible situation, and I've I heard some bad ones, but this was awful. And I, I felt so badly, and I, I said, uh, boy, I'm really sorry about that. You know, I was going to pray for these people. <laughs> I found out they're on the soap opera. We get all wrapped up in this stuff. And what really matters? The law. Now says the Lord, Jonah, I love those people. I made them for my glory. You got angry with, with me because this gourd withered. You had pity on the gourd. You didn't sow the seed. You didn't water it. You didn't fertilize it. You didn't tend it, care for it as it grew. You did nothing whatsoever. This gourd came up in a night it is a son of the night, says the Hebrew. Born in the night, perished in the night. But you had pity on that. But these men and women in children in Nineveh will live forever and ever somewhere. Maybe 600,000 people in the metropolitan area of Nineveh. Don't you care about this city? God said, I had mercy on them, and I spared the city, just because, because I am a God who is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness. Do I have compassion on the lost? When was the last time I wept over a sinner? Are they really lost now? Is the wrath of God hanging over their head now? Are they condemned already? One heartbeat from hell. If we know our God, and if we live godly lives in this present world, we cannot help but influence others to choose. They still have their choice, but we bring before them the great issue of life. Choose life. Why will you die? 